hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video guys we are working on how to implement uh, JWT token and in this we also learn how we can validate token and how we can refresh token if it is expired and all we will do that using a um, custom helper okay and now what I mean by that is so that will be done automatically using the authorization attribute like here you can see okay uh, so we will go through it one by one and the first step that you have to do is you have to go to the project and go to manage nugget packages and we have to go and install the JWT nugget package so we will see which package you have to install So here is the package that you have to install system.identitymodel.token.jwt You have to install that package and then what you have to do is you have to go to your controller Now uh, whatever I show you in this video don't you worry about the code part because we will provide you the code also uh, in the video description So don't you worry about that you will be able to download the code and then uh, use that completely Okay so the first step is always that we have to first generate the token so we have this login method here and here we are receiving one model from the UI okay so that will have the email and password so this is just a simple login uh, functionality that I have added uh, so you can improve that as per your requirement so we will also go on the um, view where we will um, add the username and password okay so i will run the application and then we will see one by one like how it will flow uh, in the working so it is important to watch the video till end because i will be explaining how you have to use the a custom filter attribute and what are the uh, points that you have to remember while working on that so um, stay tuned with the video so here is the form guys and because I am not using any kind of database here so what I have done is uh, when I click on login then I am picking the credentials uh, from the web config to match those so here is the username and password that I have passed static here and that I am matching here okay so I am matching the username and password you can improve that from database okay and then the if the password matches then what you have to do is we have to uh, generate a token okay so uh, I have part the roles here so you can add your roles from database and then here we have the authentication dot generate JWT token method now this is not a inbuilt method this is what we have created so this is the first thing that you have to remember is that you have to add the authentication class in your project okay and now here we have one method for generating the token and then we have created another method uh, for regenerate token now this will be used for refresh token and then we have a method for validating the token okay so we have these three methods in the authentication class now we will uh, come at the first one which is the generate JWT token method so we are getting the username and the roles that we have added from the controller and here we are adding those into the claims so we have added those into the claims and here so the one thing you will need is the security key which will be the JWT key now uh, I have added that in the web config okay so it can be any uh, string that you can add okay so I have added that here and I am picking that from web config so then I am uh, adding the expiration time so currently I have added only two minutes okay so it will be expired on 13 so it is just one minute only not two so here I am generating the token and then I am writing the token so it will return the JWT security token you can see here okay now I have added that into the session so I can access that on other pages okay 
so this is important you have to add that into session or you have to add that into the authorization head so now we will redirect on the uh, home controller okay so i will go on the home controller first so on the home controller we have this uh, authorization attribute so we have this authorization authorization attribute now what it will do is uh, it will first execute this before executing the action code okay and here we are adding this authorized attribute and authorization filter and here we have override the own authorization method so it will perform the authorization here so here if you notice we are taking the token from the authorization header if it is not there then we are picking from the session that we created uh, on the first controller and then here what we are checking is the uh, token is not there then we are redirecting on the login page because the token is not there and then we are validating the token here that we seen earlier uh, we have the method for validating the token okay so we are validating that and if that is not um, correct or uh, available uh, then we are refreshing the token uh, here so uh, when the code reaches to validate token it will have the token but that will be uh, correct or expired so if it is correct then it will not execute this code but if it is expired then it will execute this code and it will call the uh, refresh token method which is here and into that what we are doing is we are getting the token and from that we are getting all the claims and those claims are we are passing to the regenerate generated token method to uh, regenerate a new token with the same claims so that means by that the data will be same only the token will be refreshed or recreated okay so we will see when it comes here so here you can see that when the page redacted first time it have the token uh, now since the time is expired so token is expired because that was valid to the uh, 14 13 now it is 15 so it will be expired so when i click on about it will go to the authorization filter attribute again so here you can see the token is there um, but when it will validate the token uh, it will not return the valid token because that is expired okay so now we will go to refresh token and in the refresh token method in the refresh token method we will take the principle from the uh, old token okay so you can see we have all the claims here now we will add the same claims to the new token okay so we will see how we will do that so it actually regenerated the token and then uh, redirected on the uh, action that we clicked okay now how to verify that it is correct or not so if we go back to home again okay uh, so this time you can see that it is still showing the error it has not uh, moved us to the login page because the token was there and it was valid okay uh, so if it is not valid then it will go to this refresh token code okay so now we will see again so now this time we will see so token is there and it is a valid token so it, it doesn't execute the refresh token code okay because we have recreated the token now we will log out here okay and on the logout we will clear the session and then redirect on the account page so here guys like how you will know that that validation is working or not so i will try to open that uh, action which has the authorization directly okay so in real world if the authorization is working then it should not let me open that action without the login okay so here you can see that uh, when i tried that it will check that uh, token and because it is not there uh, it will uh, send me back to the login screen so you can see that we are not able to login to the page directly uh, we are uh, sent out of the application and on the login page because the authorization was working there okay so this is how you can implement that attribute like wherever you want to implement the authorization then you have to put that uh, attribute on that action 
you can even put that on the controller that will work for all the action inside that controller so now again uh, just to uh, clear once more uh, we are refreshing the token only when it is expired but if the token is not there at all then we are not checking anything and we are just redirecting to the login screen okay so this way you can validate the token and refresh the token automatically you don't have to do that manually every time it will just take care of everything on its own okay guys so uh, now coming back to the code part how you will get the code uh, we will add a direct link but what you can do is you can go to the uh, our official website codetonight.com uh, here you can check uh, lots of blogs we have for different um, issues and like functionalities so here we have the blog for a refresh token in asp.net mvc so i will open that one or you can open that one and here you will be able to see uh, you will be able to see all the code that i just showed you in the video so if you want to use that then you have to just download that using any of these buttons and uh, once downloaded you can execute the code like I just showed you in the video okay so guys if this works for you then what you have to do is you have to uh, or you can join us on whatsapp and facebook and you can also subscribe us so thank you guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue thank you